All was normal as U.S. Airways Flight 1549 lifted off from LaGuardia Airport. First Officer Jeff Skiles at the controls just before 3.26 p.m., January 15th, 2009. Morning snow had given way to a cold, clear day, offering magnificent views of the New York skyline and Hudson River as the jet rose over the Bronx, climbing to 1,000 feet. Out of nowhere, a flock of geese appeared, smashing into the nose and wings of the aircraft. Most ominously, they flew into the engines, which strained to stay in operation before losing thrust completely. The airplane in crisis, control was shifted to its captain, Chesley B. Sullenberger. A graduate of the Air Force Academy, Sullenberger's career began as a fighter pilot 35 years earlier. His military training and lessons learned since would show themselves in the most dangerous three and a half minutes of his career. Within seconds, Sullenberger radioed Mayday to air traffic control, declaring an emergency. 21 and a half seconds had passed since the bird strike. The engines would not start, and the plane was losing speed, descending at a rate of two stories a second. Banking left, Sullenberger had to put the plane down quickly, whether at LaGuardia or somewhere else. Gliding over the George Washington Bridge, Sullenberger cycled through his options. With the plane's rapid descent, only one option remained. We're going to be in the Hudson. 210, uh, 4718. I don't know, I think he said he was going in the Hudson. In the cabin, 150 passengers and three flight attendants braced for impact, unaware of where or why they were going down. His decision made, Sullenberger guided the aircraft southward above the Hudson. Automated warnings blared throughout the cockpit as Sullenberger glided the plane below 500, then 250 feet. Never once did he doubt he would come out of this alive. New Yorkers were preparing for the afternoon rush as thousands on both sides of the Hudson looked on to watch the Airbus A320 glide into the river with a splash. Onlookers were even more shocked as passengers began to calmly exit the floating airplane, standing on its wings and in rafts. Last to exit was its captain, after all had been evacuated. Within minutes, a New York waterway ferry pulled alongside the plane and began to evacuate passengers from the icy water. Shortly after, another ferry arrived, and then another, as the NYPD helicopter hovered overhead. Soon it seemed as if all of New York and all of New Jersey were rushing to the middle of the Hudson. A few hours later, incredible news was confirmed. All 155 souls aboard were safe and accounted for. The story of Flight 1549 and its pilots captivated the nation. Sully Sullenberger was hailed as a hero. And yet the captain did not think himself a hero. He had not chosen the moment. The moment had chosen him. It was merely a culmination of decades of training, dedication to detail, and devotion to duty. In time, he accepted that moment had meant something more. The five-minute flight of 1549, its pilots, crew, and the armada that came to their rescue inspired a city still scarred from September 11th and a country suffering the worst recession in 70 years. At a time in our nation's history when we all needed it, it gave us hope. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome United States Air Force fighter pilot veteran Captain Sully Sullenberger. So in a moment of crisis like this, do you actually have time to think, or is it all just training and instinct at that stage? We had to make time to think. You know, we didn't have time to reinvent the wheel. You have to realize this is something we had never specifically trained for. The only training we'd ever gotten for a water landing was a classroom discussion. So I had to have already done the hard work and created a paradigm about how to set priorities and, and solve any problem in an airplane. Probably the best way of explaining it is that for 42 years before this flight, I'd been making small, regular deposits in a bank 
of education, training, and experience. And on January 15, 2009, the balance was sufficient I could make a sudden large withdrawal. <laughs> Your actions that day at the Miracle on the Hudson have given you a platform to really talk about the importance of safety in aviation. Uh, tell us a little about that. You know, when our first officer that day, Jeff Skiles and I, first realized when we got the inauguration here in Washington five days after the flight, that unlike most news stories, this one was not going to fade away at the end of the news cycle, we both immediately felt an intense obligation to use this sudden notoriety for good to be the de facto spokespersons for our profession, for our, uh, for our passengers. And that mission continues still, that not to do so would be a dereliction of duty. Flight 1549 has so many parallels with the Doolittle Raid. Uh, both succeeded due to intense training and fast, smart decisions. Uh, both united and inspired the country during tough times. Uh, what does it mean to you to be the face of, of such a moment? During the 2008-2009 worldwide financial meltdown, America felt like it needed a win, and this event gave them hope. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, uh, one of the most iconic moments in American history, the great Captain Sully Sullenberger.